So hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the top three Halloween events. What do you think? Um, <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights, the SeaWorld one, and Mickey's Not So Scary. That's right. Yeah. Let's do it. Hello everyone, broadcasting from Kissimmee, Florida. We are Gilda and Louis here to talk about everything, anything, and ramble, ramble for, for your, your entertainment. entertainment. Um, this is our second podcast. Exactly. So hopefully you like it, the first one. And if you're watching the second one, we appreciate your support. So thanks for watching. And let's go ahead and start. And uh, so I made a list of the stuff of the big three, because I like to call them the big three as now we're in coming into June. And actually all the stuff is starting to get announced in the yes, houses and I all that fun stuff. I see them all over my feed. Now you're not a fan of none of these things except maybe the Mickey one. Yeah, I've gone to the Mickey one. I have absolutely no desire to go to the other two. Okay, well I'm gonna mm. talk a little bit about the other two because I've gone to the other two and actually gone to opening day to the other two for the last two years. So hopefully I'll convince you and maybe no, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> exactly. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about was actually, which everybody always asks is scare zone and houses. And because as we start getting close to Halloween Horror Nights, um, there's like all this excitement about there's a the houses, they're getting announced. Yes, You've seen that, that I remember, like, yes. And there's the exercise. All of my friends at work, all of my friends right, like in the area, they're all talking about the big houses. Exactly. There's even speculation maps and what's going to be happening and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah. So when it comes to the houses, now all three of them are different. Obviously, the Mickey one, you can say there. You can talk about. It. There's really no houses. No, there's no housing. Right? No, no houses. It's just um, areas where you pick up candy. It's like a trick. Like a, a treat glorified tear, no. trick or treat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, except it has shows, people dress up, like they have different characters yeah. around. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. There's a parade, parade repeats twice, the fireworks are different. So I actually enjoy all of that. Which is funny that you mentioned the costumes because Mickey's Not So Scary is the only one where you can go in costumes. Yes. You yep. cannot go in costumes with the other two because they, they're, it's not allowed, you know. So that's that's the oh, what really we, no it's they, not, not nope not allowed that's like nope that's not happening so nothing you got to go normal and you can't go with mask and none of that stuff you know this is literally to scare you not to you to try to scare people and stuff like that so, <laughs> okay yeah usually ten houses and the Halloween Horror Nights and they're used some of them backstage and some of them using some of the existing rides and stuff like that so ten houses they're all themed with different things you know Exorcist uh, absolutely uh, not all these you know cool ones are they're, they're pretty cool there's all types there's good and there's bad ones and then when it comes to hollow scream which is a sea world one houses as well and that one is a little bit different because the houses they're i don't want to say they're better or worse because it all depends which one you like but the houses are all themed together in the case of halloween horror nights they're not really connected if that makes any sense yeah yeah, because Halloween Horror Nights is like movies, and you know, yeah. You know, so yeah, so one house is this movie, the other one is the other movie, or like exactly. show or whatever. Exactly. So in the case of Hollow Scream, it's actually there's a theme which is where the mermaids by parts by parts. Yeah, it's it's some mermaids that that they realize that they had attacked their 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 land, and they they're going against the humans and stuff like that. So it's 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 you know I don't want to spoil it, but it's it's got a different theme to it, and they're all connected and stuff like that. Um, as for the houses, the houses, I think the best ones are the Halloween Horror Nights, to be honest with you. Um, definitely more interactive. It's it's yes. it's a good noted that I have been on the houses, but during the day with the lights on. Yes, when we did that tour. Well, we did the tour, yes. um, and it was lights on, and that was okay. Um, but there was no way you catch me dead in there at the night. No, no. With the lights off. Abs and people scaring you? Absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, no, no. They I, were, um, no. I, I did like, like, I would do again the lights on tour only because the uh, the tour guides are were so knowledgeable. Yeah, that guy knew his stuff. Uh, oh my God, he knew back and forth. He no, had not, like yeah. the, the legends where it came from. He knew like all this stuff. I totally appreciated his knowledge about yeah. this stuff and how passionate he was about yes. it. It was absolutely mind blowing. Two thumbs up. Absolutely recommend the lights on. With the lights off, nope. 
Yeah, no, and I, I have to agree with you. And, and, and with the lights on, the cool thing is that the guy explained all the little details that when you're trying to walk through that door and it's off, there's no way you can see the details that he explained. There's just no way. Yeah. It's funny because... You would no, know because yeah, no, you've you been both. Yes, and definitely Halloween Horror Nights, it, it's it's great, but at the same time, it's a conga line because it's really, it's 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 packed. <laughs> and it is a con conga line. It's a conga line. You're like, a, you know, in the front of the person, and you're, you know, so it, yeah. In the case of the hollow scream, it's actually the the houses they send you in by groups and the it is actually wider what's inside which you know obviously Halloween Horror Nights the whole idea is to give you that closed-in feeling so it's made like that for a purpose but what is mm -hmm. Halloween it's actually pretty wide and you can actually go in with an ECV and stuff like that they say that you can you know they tell you that they recommend you that you go in with a, a regular wheelchair because there's steep turns and stuff like that but yeah, there's definitely the, the, there's two different types of houses. Do they still do that? They give you a necklace so people don't scare you. Yes, that is in Hollow Scream that they do it. I don't think they do it in Halloween Horror Nights. I could be wrong. I don't think I don't I've think ever so. heard of anybody saying that. Yeah, you are correct. In Hollow Scream, you can buy a necklace with a little light, and it tells the scare actors to not jump on you and stuff like that and scare you. And so yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's still a no. It's still a no? Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, okay, nope. so let's talk about the theming. Like I was saying, Mickey's not so scary. What what, what, what do you think about the theming? What's it? Um, I, I'm a girl. I'm Disney girl through and through. And, like, I love the theming. I love the parade. Um, boo to you. Boo to you. Yeah. That, that, that parade is uh, it's a fantastic. Aside from the Christmas one, I think that one is absolutely amazing. I love the fireworks. I, fireworks are so cool. Um, and I love all the fireworks Disney does. So I love that part. I love that you get candy. Like you stand there, you go, you pick up your candy, you go to another area. It feels like um, a safe place for you to have go Hallow trick or treating yeah, um, yeah, in Halloween. Like it, it's a great place. And if you're traveling, I think that's what's even better yeah. because if you're traveling during that time and you would like and you live in an area where there's not so many neighbors, you don't have that many people approach. Mm -hmm. So maybe you this is an idea of your kids getting to go trick or treating yes. um, in a safe environment um, and you get to dress up yourself, which is like the coolest thing ever. Yes. Um, I see the other people getting all dressed up. Yeah, I see the other people getting dressed up and people are so creative with the <laughs> costumes. Yes. Like they sometimes, there are entire families that are themed. Like, and I love it. Like I had one year a family who was dressed up as Kim Possible, the show. That's cool. And it is so cool. Like the stuff that you see, you're like, oh my God, three friends who came up the Powerpuff Girls. That's cool. And I, I, it's, I love seeing the costumes of the, it's a pity that during the year they can't come in costume, which I understand is yeah. the, the rule, but it's, it's so much fun on Halloween. It's so, so fun. Now you mentioned actually a really good couple of things. You mentioned fireworks and you mentioned parade. In the case of the two other ones, they do have what they call scare zones, which are areas similar to the houses, but they're on the street and there's people coming at you and there's lights and sounds and mm -mm. yeah. So, and there's, uh, and of the course- cheerleaders with the- Yeah, with the, the, with the chainsaws. Absolutely yeah. not. No. Yeah, and we'll put some clips so you can see more or less what I'm talking about. So, but yeah, so those have what they call the scare zones and those areas you can go in and they got the cheerleaders with the, with the chainsaws and stuff like that. Yeah, so those are scare zones, which Halloween Horror Nights and, and Hollow Scream both have and they're really cool theme because Every area has its own little cool thing. So that's one cool thing that Mickey Scary doesn't have. But again, over here, you don't got no candy. There's no candy yeah, for no. you. Mm. You pay, and if you want candy or you want something, you got to buy it. <laughs> that's no. the way it works. <laughs> no. Yeah, so and then... I like, I like my candy. Exactly. Like, it's it's the, uh, the idea of go trick-or-treating. I yes. love it. And then there's no fireworks. For Hollow Scream and, <sighs> and, and Halloween Horror, there's no fireworks. Um, but there are shows. In the case of Vicky's Not So Scary, you know, you got that show with the three sisters, the Sanderson yeah. sisters, and you got the, I think it's called Hollow Wishes. The fireworks, or they changed the name? Hollow Wishes. The fireworks. Yeah, yeah Hollow Wishes. Hollow Wishes. So yeah, over here, yeah. the, what you got for a stage show is actually for Hollow Scream, there's, a, there's one show, <laughs> actually, there's two shows that happen during the event, and one is in like the main area where there's like four stages, and that's where the siren the main angry siren with the angry sisters no. are and there's fire and there's frost and there 
uh, you'll, it's, it's pretty cool. And then the other one for Halloween Horror Nights, they actually have a stage that they'll sometimes do like little skits and stuff like that. And then another show that they have is called The Fuel Girls, which is a third, I think they're a third party. They come in, they do a show with fire and stuff like that. That's one of those little auditoriums. Yeah. Really cool. I'll put some clips of it so you guys can see. And it's really it, awesome. It's, yeah. It's worth noting that I have never seen, and I know people are going to go ballistic over this. I have never seen the show of the Sanderson sisters. Yeah. The movie or either. Yeah. The stage uh, No, show. I've seen the movie. Yeah. Um, but I... Well, let's be honest. That, that's another thing that I was I wanted to touch here today is that it's the time that you have in the events. So, for example, yeah. that's one of the things that we always didn't like of Mickey's Not So Scary, and it was the time. It's like you, it was yeah. 7 to 12? It, sta it starts at 7, midnight is done, and if you want to see the characters, the characters have incredible, some of them sound ridiculous yes, lines. Yes, yes. Um, and so, if you want to get candy, you have to prioritize yeah. what you really want to do. Do you want to do this, or... Do you want to do that? Would your main focus would be trick or treating? Our girls love trick or treating, yeah, yep. so we always made the line for the, for the candy. For yeah. the candy, yeah. And I think it's it's worth noting that it, this is one of the few times you get a parade at night. Yes, that's um, true. And that's I so love true. it. Uh, like I, so we true. used to love the parade, electro. Um, Ele yeah, the tr electric magical parade. Electric magical yeah. parade and yeah. the other one, spectrum magic. Spectrum, spectrum magic. magic. Yeah, spectrum magic days. We love spectrum magic. Yes. So you can. The girls used to love it, um, and so that's the part that I agree with you. It should be either longer or something because. There's not enough time in the event for yes. you to do the characters, to go trick or treating, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. do whatever. You have to pick or go twice. Or and go that's twice, a lot of exactly. Money. And then yeah, and then the parade. You got obviously you got to you know be there early because you know it's going to get packed. And the good thing, about, at least the good thing of Mickey's not so scary is that that stage show. I think it it goes three times. Uh, yeah, three, four times. Three, four times, and there's the last ones even at midnight, which is when the park closes. It's, is, yeah, it's after midnight. Yeah, which is what they recommend. Do the last one, and then. And in the case of Hollow Scream, the show is also done four times, but they also have another show that's done indoors, and it's called uh, Monster Stomp, which is killing okay. and some other stuff. And I'll put uh, some clips. Yeah, no. I'll put some clips, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, and that one's done four times, and all those sh all those shows are are free. They're included with the ticket. And the Halloween and the Halloween Horror Nights, the one of Fuel. Uh, Nightmare Fuel, I think that's done four times also, and that one's great. So the characters, obviously the Mickey ones, you got special characters, right? You got yeah. you know, Mickey with, with Mickey's me. dressed up, um, so is Minnie. Um, they have certain places. Um, they're not in their regular location. Like usually, you see Minnie at Pete's Sole Sideshow. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so it is Daisy, but in that moment, in that day, they're in different areas. Um, uh, they used to have the princesses with the prince. Yeah, um, I, I think that. now it's only on Christmas that they have it, For the which Christmas actually parties. makes sense. Yeah. Um, uh, but the I seven wish dwarves, I, yeah, the, the seven, seven dwarves, dwarves yeah, are all, all seven together. Of them, yeah. They do not sign, no. but they are together, and you can take a picture. And honestly, I kind of feel like this is a controversial topic, but I kind of feel that. In Halloween, they should cut off the 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 autograph because the line. I think the line moves faster. And this, I I we actually experienced it on cruise line yes. when we went for the Halloween to show to see the Sanderson sisters. But to see the yeah. Sanderson sisters, I was well. You can you you remember? Mm -hmm. I was sweating bullets with that line. Because I was like, oh my God, they only have a certain amount of time. This line is insane. How they're going to do it. Everybody and the person in front of me had four different uh, uh, frames and mm -hmm. uh, autograph books. And they wanted single pictures yeah. and group pictures. And all of a sudden, the attendant comes and says, this is the sign. This is the, the card that you're going to get for signatures. They do not sign. You get one picture and one picture only. You pick how you want to do it, but we're not going to do yeah, more not than posing one. In the, and I was like, oh my God. And that is brilliant because they actually, all of a sudden, fast. they organize themselves, which I don't, I, I understand that for us, the people that come all the time to the parks, we already know what we want. But if you come like further, like from out of state yeah, exactly, from and you're on vacation, you would have that mindset. You're not 
thinking clearly, which is understandable. Like your mm -hmm. information overload. Yeah. There's so many colors, so many, so much to see. So for me, it's it's understandable. Gotcha. Um, but like we were surprised. I was like, and all of a sudden that line was it, like it went down whoa, extra whoa, fast. Whoa. Yes, and there that were was people. Great. They were adding people yes, at, the end. at the end, and I was like, oh my god, this is brilliant. Um, so I feel like for Halloween, they should do something like that. So the lines go a little bit down. Like, for example, uh, the line for Sally and... Uh, and Jack and Sally. And Jack and Sally. Yes. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. That was insane. Yeah, they had it even open before the event sometimes. Yeah, they like opened it at before. four sometimes. And we waited, what, two, three hours? And when you're talking about seven to 12, there's three hours. I don't hours think we waited that long because we went the day that it was... The day that we saw them, it was the day that it was raining. Yes. Yes, yes. you are correct. Yeah, so, yeah, like Gilda says, you got to sort of like pick and choose what you want to do on the Mickey's Not So Scary because the time is really limited, which yeah. is, yeah. So, and, and that... you can go, they don't have the multi-option, multi-part, multi-day option mm -hmm. of tickets. Yeah. Um, so that's another thing. It's not like Halloween Horror Nights. Yes. That you can buy a month ticket and yes. then goes multiple times. Yes, yes, which is what the next thing I want to talk about was... Uh, the prices. Now I had to look them up. Okay, so Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. Obviously, it gets more expensive as you get closer to, to the um, to the event. Now, different from Mickey's not so scary. One cool thing about Halloween Horror Nights, which I like, is that you can actually purchase like multiple day tickets. And yeah. for example, in the case of Hollow Scream, uh, I purchased the whole event ticket, pretty cheap. It was only like 114 bucks for the whole event. That's September two to November second. Obviously. Parking is additional in any place that you go to. But if you have an annual pass, well, then you know that you can skip the parking. But for Mickey's Not So Scary, what is it? What does it go for? Um, if you're come, if you're going in August, opening day is $149. August 9th, did it open? August opens, yeah. 9th, yes. Um, the other days are $119 in August. Mm -hmm. And then if you go in September, it's $129. Going up. By the third, by the final week of September is $149. And by the time you get closer to Halloween, it's almost $200. Per person. From $179 to $189, depending on the day, and $199 some days. Oof. It is very expensive. Per, yeah. Then that's per person. So if you're talking about a family of four, you're talking about what, $800? $800. $800 on the smack. From 7 and to 12. From 7 to 12. One which, night. One night. No. There, you see all types of things. Like I, I, all types of I'm things. pretty, like, I'm a pretty liberal person in that and you know your child best. Yes, that's, but what, that's the even, important thing. But even, even not so, Mickey's not so scary. It's hard. If you have a schedule, we had our kids in our scan a schedule and like they would go down at, they were, they, they were time, yeah. seven, eight. Um, they were supposed to be in bed already. Yeah. Um, so s staying past that time for them was a struggle yeah. um, for them. So I can't imagine how tough it has to be for those kids who stay like all day yeah. in the park and then go then to go that event. event. Yeah. Yeah, now that is another thing. That's it's a separate ticketed event. So even if you got annual passes, all three all three events you have to pay extra. So do you get a discount? Yes, annual pass holders for, I think for all, for both of them get a discount, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. You get a discount, yeah. Oh nice. Yeah. And then also in the Hollow so Screen. So maybe instead of 200 you pay 199 99 <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, it's 199 so you pay maybe 190 <laughs> There you go, thank you for being an annual pass holder. Ooh. And you get a magnet, that's all you get. Oh, wow. <laughs> We'll people about. have seen people go the nuts over the merchandise. Is it crazy? Like, as I know that in Mickey's Not So Scary, some merchandise sells yeah. fast. Yes. Um, how is it on the other yes. two? Yes, Halloween Horror Nights does have its own special merchandise, and people do go crazy for them. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Obviously, they're all has At shirts. At least not in his opinion. Yeah, I don't. I, it's just I don't. You know. Okay, it's cool. It has, and they're all th themed with the houses and stuff like that. Hollow Screen doesn't have much merchandise. 
to oh, be no, honest. I'm surprised. Yeah, hello, hello. Um, so it's you probably could get a shirt, a hat, or something like that. But it's but not, now that they charge five percent for every purchase. Yes. Yes. Um, That's something new that we saw when we went. Yeah, we are oh. animal pass holders on SeaWorld. Um, and we love the place. It's yeah. nice, but five percent for every everything. time for everything I buy. It's, even a, even a Gatorade. Even a Gatorade, yeah. it adds up really fast. Yeah. Um, and like the food is also there a little bit more expensive. Yes. Yes. Than the other. Yeah, two they parts. both had speciality drinks, and all three of them. Oh yeah. You know, that's speciality true. drink, cupcakes, um, whatever. Here it's the same thing. Uh, in the case of Hollow Scream, there's uh, the main characters, which are the sir uh, sirens. And, um, you know, there's Frost, which is the fire, and they got drinks that are themed after them. So well, I think that one stopped. So, yeah, they all have their own drinks and stuff like that and food and stuff like that. So it's all themed. And, and how, uh, I think the Halloween Horror Nights has the most weirdest one, like the blood burgers and stuff like that. And the, the buns are black and, you know, and, and yeah. blood drinks and stuff. I would, the only way I'm, they're going to catch me ever again in there is with the lights on and yeah. a tour guide. Telling me all the fun all the and, story, and yeah. all the stories and all the yeah. fun stuff. And I can take pictures with them. Yeah, and make sure you check out. There's a video that we did. We'll, we'll put a, a link underneath that, that we did uh, when we did that tour, which was great. We had a blast. Yeah, yeah and they tell you when you can um, video we, and, and when, when you, you cannot. Can exactly. It, it was fun. Like, during with the lights on, you'll absolutely catch me there. Yeah. Yeah. Lights not on. Yeah, and no. there was like I think that, that when we did it, there was like three houses and six houses. So obviously there's different prices, and I think the six houses included food. Um, I think we did the three. The three houses. Yeah, it was it was long enough. Yes. Oh for yeah. For the three. It was really long. Yeah, but I I enjoy Mickey. He enjoys that. So yeah. Everybody. Yeah, there's friends. options for everybody. So depending on what you like, I'm sure you can find one of these three events yeah. or one of the other ones in Central Florida. Yeah. that they announce everywhere um so make sure to check them out and make sure you check that link and subscribe and if you like this give us a feedback and yep. tell us how you like it yep and, and give us suggestions yeah and we'll see you on the next podcast bye see you guys <laughs>